In this video, we will take a look at control flow statements in Kotlin. A control flow statement is a statement that results in a choice being made as to which of the two or more paths to follow. You might have already worked with control flow statements in many languages. One of the most widely used control flow statement is if else and we will start with that. So in Kotlin, if else operators behave the same way as it does in many other programming languages. If executes a certain section of code if the condition is true, it can have an optional else clause as well. Uh, to see if else operation in action, we will create a simple program that will find the maximum of two numbers. So let's start creating our small program. So I'm going to define a two numbers. So I'm going to type a var num1 and I'm going to set it equal to 5. And then I'm going to take another variable num2 and I'm going to set equal to 10. Now I'm going to define another variable which will hold the maximum of two numbers. So I'm going to type var, I'm going to call it max and this will be an integer type number. Now I will use the if condition to check for a bigger number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type if, then I'm going to type num1. If the num1 is greater than num2, we will run some block of code and we have defined that block of code right here. Else, we will run another block of code. So what goes inside, I will tell you that. Now I will use the if condition to check for a bigger number. So I'm going to type if, and I'm going to write if num1 is greater than num2. If that's true, so I will run some block of code that we have defined right here. So if that's not the case, we are going to run some code in the else block. So the way if, if else statement works is that we have an if block. We have if and then we have this condition. So some condition goes inside. And if that condition evaluates to true, we run this block of code which is right next to the if condition. And if that condition is false, we run the code inside of the else block. So that's how the if and else work. All right, so I'm going to delete this part. And what I'm going to do is fill this if and else block. So if number one is greater than num2, we're going to assign max equal to num1. Otherwise, max will be equal to num2. Now I'm going to write a print statement to print the result to the output window. So I'm going to write print ln and I'm going to pass in the max. Now let's go ahead and run the program. So I'm going to click on the play button. And here we can see 10 in the output window because 10 is obviously greater than 5. One important thing to note is that in Kotlin, if is an expression, so it means that it return a value. All right, so let us write the above condition using if as an expression. So I'm going to start with if, then I'm going to type the condition. So if num1 is greater than num2, what we're going to do is that we will return num1. Otherwise, we will return num2. So since we are using if as an expression means this statement will return something and we are going to store that in the variable max. So now we are going to run the program to see the output. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment out this code till here. So we will be using this statement to determine the bigger of the two numbers. So I'm going to write print ln and I'm going to pass in the max variable. So now let's run the program. And here we can see we have a 10 printed in the output window. So that's how we can use if as an expression. Okay, so now the question is, can you write multiple statements by using if as an expression? And the answer is yes, we can. So what we're going to do is I'm going to comment out this code and I'm going to type if 
num1 is greater than num2. We are going to repeat uh, what we did above to find bigger of the two numbers. So we will type if num1 is greater than num2 then num1 else num2 and I'm going to store the result in max variable. So this is what we did already and there's nothing new in this. So now what I'm going to do is how we can write multiple statements so to write multiple statements we have to use this curly braces and we have to use the curly braces with else as well so i'm going to add one more statement so i'm going to type print ln num1 is greater and over here i'm going to type print ln num2 is greater so now we can see that we have multiple statements inside this if block and inside this else block as well. So now the question is since we are using if as an expression. So what will be returned from this expression? We can see that we have multiple statements inside our if block and in the else block. So an important thing to keep in mind is that the last statement inside the if block or the else block whichever will be executed will be the returned value of this expression. Now I'm going to uh, write a print statement to print the value of the max variable. So I'm going to type print ln and I'm going to pass in the max variable. And now we are going to run the program to see the output. So I'm going to click on this play button. And here we can see that our program is up and running. And we can see that our else block got executed because we have num2 is greater printed in the output window and num2 is returned as the value of this expression. So that's why we have a 10 printed in the output window. All right, so that's it for this video and in the next one we will take a look at the when expression in Kotlin.